What a great strike by Tonga by Loret. Pressure coming. Intercepted in the end zone. Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Dolphins Today from Baptist Health Studios here in Miami Gardens. I'm Kimberly Bell, a.k.a. Kimmy B. Now, we'll get into the Miami Grand Prix in just a minute, but first, the Dolphins are adding to the offense, signing free agent running back Sony Michelle today, a former first-round pick in 2018 by the New England Patriots. The 27-year-old Michelle is fresh off a Super Bowl 56 victory with the Los Angeles Rams. And if you're a South Florida native, you may remember Michelle from his days at American Heritage, where he rose to five-star status before playing his college ball at Georgia. Welcome to the Dolphins, and more importantly, welcome home, Sony. So clearly, it was a massive weekend at Hard Rock Stadium as we welcomed the Formula One World Championship for the first time, and it definitely did not disappoint. Red Bull Racing's Max Verstappen edged out both Ferraris to take home the inaugural trophy, capping off an unforgettable race week. Now. With turn 17 just feet away from the Dolphins training facility, safe to say multiple players were in attendance and they weren't just there to watch. They actually got involved. Here's everything you may have missed from a busy time in the paddock. Bro, I couldn't even get my phone out. Yeah, fast is an understatement. What is like your ideal time? What are you guys aiming for each time? Normally like low twos. Definitely a little nervous. I don't want to upset my other teammates. I think I'm going to slow them down a little bit, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be good. A little nervous, but that's, that's all part of it. You know, it's like game day. You feel the pressure, but you got to perform. You got to do your thing when, the time, when it's time to shine. All we have to do is lift the wheel up. So yeah. if, if I fail that, then I'm in competition. Right, right. right. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> once you hear that, zip. Yeah, I'm just fucking get off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we think Tua said it best to the crowd before the race, saying, I can't believe we play football here. Now, speaking of football, the team returned to the practice field this week for week three of phase two of the NFL's offseason program. Later this week, the rookie class will get to town and hit the ground running for rookie minicamp. And on top of all that, the NFL will release the 2022 schedule this Thursday night at 8 p.m. Go ahead and set that alert in your phone now. The season's going to be here before we know it, and we can't wait to break it all down with you. And of course, we cannot forget about the moms. The role they play in our lives and in the lives of NFL players throughout their football journey cannot be measured, and Sunday was the day to celebrate them. As you may have guessed, it wasn't hard to get some of the team to sit down and reflect on everything their moms have done for them. Let's take a look at that. I'd like to say happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. We love you. We thank you for all that you do. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Moms is one of the most important things in a child's life and continue to be a success story and I'll motivate not just yourself and your kids and everybody else. You all are very special, you're needed, you matter, and all of your babies appreciate you, whether you believe it or not. This is your day, this is one of my favorite days of the year, so hope you enjoy it. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the world. I love you. Aw, safe to say we've got some mama's boys on the Dolphins football team. Now, that's all we've got for this edition of Dolphins today. Thanks for spending some time with us, and make sure you tune in on Friday for more schedule release and rookie class content. We'll see you then.